I don't think people realize that like movement is a skill. Mm -hmm. Uh, Say personal development is a skill. These things are skills that you can gain more awareness. You can get better education. You can ultimately take more um, progressive action and get some level of learning or result. And then from there it can expand. And like you said, that vision can, can grow. But I suppose it's kind of the education of what we're told around the body and ourselves yeah. and our lives that we don't particularly like or certainly don't agree Yeah, with. Yeah, the, the ed- education is is a big part of it. So because education and ultimately everyone is getting educated about their bodies, whether they know it or not. So you're always receiving information. This stretch is bad. This stretch is good. Such and such food is bad. It You're taking it in, whether you know it or not. And it informs your your belief system around, let's just talk about your body for this one. It informs your, your belief system. And that then informs how you move. It informs how much you push yourself in the gym. It informs how safe you feel when you're performing things like physical activity. So we at Movement 101 are trying this message of getting people to be more optimistic and not to be not to be stupid and people are doing break dancing or anything like that or dancing in between sets, but like, you know, the the when you see the body is so adaptable with the right stimulus, it's beyond belief. And the narrative in the in the fitness industry in the past it's changing now, obviously, but in the past maybe two thousand to two thousand and fifteen or so was very like uh, negative and on the defensive and you need to get this muscle specifically working in this way because that's the root cause of your problems and it was it created an, an element of fear and then this creates this self-fulfilling prophecy where people people's range of motion gets smaller and smaller because they're being told to move in less and less ways which creates more range of motion problems and from a physical perspective you just can't move in as many ways as you can and you can see it because it happened to yourself it happened to me and we see it obviously with clients that as you begin to explore less in terms of your body mm-hmm. and your range of motion as you begin to um have well no confidence or lack of confidence in your body that does begin to impact every single aspect of yeah. your life the beliefs that you have what you believe you're capable of again that kind of fragility yeah doesn't just impact you physically it stops you progressing in different areas your relationships your career whatever the hell you want to achieve 100 percent in you like even at not just in the gym, but even normal things like, you know, picking up your picking up your kid or carrying home the shopping, like very basic human activities that we all want to be able to do. And if you don't trust your body, like those things can cause pain and you can you can struggle. Well it's interesting you say that because we always talk about weaponizing your body and kind of being fit for life. Yeah. And your training being fit for purpose. And that's why we do what we do. Yeah. Like what is the purpose? What do you want your body to physically do that could be playing football on the pitch that could be going for a hike that could be like you said playing with your kids Mm -hmm. I don't think people are aware of that people just look at reps and burning calories and building muscle yeah but it's like why what's the top process behind it I think why are you doing it is it's one of those like simple questions like well I'm doing it to to get fit or it's a but if you really dial into it like people need to explore why they're doing these things like me and you don't sit doing mobility on a yoga mat you know for this for the sake of it we want to do bigger and greater and greater things and push ourselves and um initially what people often come to movement 101 to get out of pain or to move better but having that vision of okay i want to i want to run a 5k or i want to start for my gaelic team or i want to do something huge like run a marathon like that's that's why we're we're going after these things we're we're doing these small things to get to these bigger goals. That's it. Because the one thing that's really impressed me as you as a coach is kind of a, the underlying principles behind why you, you coach clients, why, why we coach clients. We've literally talked about, about the meaning of life. You talked about your mindset. We've talked about all these different things away from the gym. Yeah. Like, I suppose, why isn't this conversation more regular or more popular or known by the general population? Like, why aren't people giving this message more and more? Uh... So people aren't exploring the the broader aspects or the deeper principles, the deeper as opposed principles. to just the kind of. I think people think uh, of the body as this physical thing that just exists, and if X muscle is tight, then pain is going to present itself. And people don't think too much into it, but you are a dynamic organism in a dynamic environment with tons of stimuli, and you've tons of 
evolutionary DNA that's there to keep you safe and then you're all in this new environment and what I try to say to people is that as it comes to physicality people view your often people view the body as like nuts and bolts it's a physical thing I'll go to ex physio or coach or osteopath and I'll get X results after six sessions but that's not really how the body works as I said it, it's in constant interplay with the mind Whereas if you went to someone like a therapist, for example, you don't say, I want to come in here and talk to you and I want to be fixed after six sessions. You're saying, I want to go on a journey. I'm going to uncover some things. I'm going to learn some things. And then hopefully I'll get to a better place. And from a physical perspective, that's kind of what we're, we're trying to cultivate at Movement 101. We're going to go through a journey. We're going to have setbacks. We're going to maybe ask some uncomfortable questions. And it will be tough, but you will get to a better place, whatever that is, as opposed to, you know, nuts and bolts, I'm going to hit you with a little hammer and then you're going to be fixed. Like that's not, the body's too complex for that essentially. And people need to understand that all of this external stimulus is influencing us. Thanks very much for listening, guys. If you want to find out any more information, you can contact us on Instagram at rob underscore movement 101 or you can contact brian at brian underscore movement 101 thanks very much again see you next time